hello guys uh, welcome back to yet another video of the digital electronics uh, in this video we'll be talking about how to convert gates in between uh, using the inverters uh, we can pretty much uh, convert one gate to another using these inverters <coughs> so the we did study we did talk about the invert inverters in the beginning uh, we have a so we call this guy a buffer what buffer is input a output y i always use output y let's say if an in input is uh, zero output is zero if your input is one output is one it's just like buffering up the input and uh, translating that to output straight what inverter is it invert the signal and that is the symbol buffer but it has a dot it's a bubble there in the end so it'll be input a output y that will be our inverter so it's opposite of uh, the buffer there so let's say that the truth table a is input y is output if input is low output will be high if output input is high output will be low <coughs> so that is like that so if input is zero which is zero output high okay and then the input one for here so what will happen here input is zero output is high if input is high output will be zero if the input come back to zero output will go high if, in, if input stays zero output will stay high if input goes back to one output will go back to zero and go back and forth so that is your ideal condition because we have timing delay it's uh, nearly impossible to have these signals because we have a delay it'll be somewhere somehow we will talk about in a, a very advanced class that uh, this output to go high and low will take a delay we call it propagation delay uh, we call the rising propagation delay and we got we call it falling propagation delay but it's not a concept of this this class in this course so we will worry about that thing maybe in advanced digital electronics somehow somehow so this is a, actually the wave diagram wave well, i'd say like i don't know you can call it waveform but um, but you can just say like it's a diagram for the input and output if input is low the output is high if input is high output is low so back and forth that is for the buffer not sorry not buffer that's for the input that was my mistake my bad that's inverter um for the buffer will be uh, input is high output will be high input is low output will be low it will be just basically they're copying that thing in the output section all right so using inverters to convert the gates how that works let's let's take an example let's start with and two and two gate and two we have input a input b we got output y if we add an out inverter to it we talk about inverter that is the symbol okay so now that if you look at that thing what inverter does it's just invert the signal if it was low it made, made it high output made it high inverted made that input to bring the output high and vice versa with the input being high the output will be low so and gate the only condition that input or the output will be on when a and b are both on so the output will be 
on. So that will be only one condition. Uh, let's draw a truth table. That's what output y. If input a is 0, b is 0, output is 0. If input a is 0, b is 1, output is 0. If input a is zero, 1 and b is 0, output will be still 0. If they're both on, output will be on. So the only time output is on when a times b, they're both equal to 1. So oh, this is and, and it 1. So that's the only condition that's on right there. Okay. I will say this is y. And the condition is when A is high and B is high. Okay, so that was this condition. But if we add inverter to that, so that means it will flip all these signals. So what will happen? Where that was off, it'll be on now. Well, that was on, it'll be off right now. So this will become... Um, we studied about uh, a, a gate. So this will input. Let's draw this logic table again, a truth table again. Okay. So the this will invert these whole this whole signal system. So zero 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 one one zero one one. So it's two input gate. We will have four conditions. So we had a output was zero. Now that output is our inverter's input. Whenever that's zero, it'll become one. And that uh, number two, when the condition for that input was zero, one, the output was zero. But this, since this is uh, this output is our inverter's input, that will become it's zero. It'll become one. The output will be one because of this inverter. Same thing will go for this third one. But what about this guy? Uh, when input is both inputs are high our output was high but adding that inverter will actually invert that signal a signal which is output for the previous gate now it's input for this inverter this will become zero that looks like famil familiar uh, of course it does it's a NAND gate NAND let's say NAND2 because it has two input NAND2 gate we we made a NAND gate using AND gate and added inverter to the output side of it. Okay, so that wasn't that bad. Let's do the same thing with the OR gate. Let's say we have a change the color here. Let's use blue. Okay, let's okay, that's blue color. I'm using OR gate. And then I'm using, alrighty, that's not bad. Input A, and input B, output Y. Let's call that OR2. Uh, and we add an inverter to it. So what will happen, let's draw the truth table for this OR2. Let's, uh, let's make a truth table. A, B and y so it's zero zero which is binary zero uh, decimal zero zero one is one one zero is two and one one is three so when the input is low the output will be low because or gate when input a is low and input b is high the output will be high if input a is high and output input b is low the output will be still high if they're both high the output will be still high what if we invert this whole truth table that's what basically that mean if we invert that whole truth table what will happen let's draw that table again let's make that table again so wherever like so now this whole output is inverted the signals just stays the same a I'm just making the final answer here. Zero, one, one. So this output, which is these, is now input for this inverter gate. So it was zero when both inputs are low. The output here after the invert adding the inverter will be on. And all these high input when they were only 
on when there's uh, it's only off in OR gate when the both inputs are off or uh, uh, zero. But adding inverter, there will be only condition that input will be high when both inputs are. The output will be high. Sorry, when both inputs were low, because we added this inverter to the OR gate. So all these three inputs will become zero because we inverted them and we bring that signal there. So that looks similar to what? We said NOR gate, not OR gate, because we added a NOT to the OR gate, NOR2. Alrighty, so that wasn't that bad. We added inverter to the uh, a gate, OR gate and AND gate. We brought the NAND gate, adding a inverter to the AND gate and we brought NOR gate adding inverter to the OR gate. Okay, uh, let's move on. Okay, so let's do, let's do work with the NAND gate. I'm going to change this color. Make it that color. Okay, and that's a, we're using, we're adding inverters to the output so that's my NAND gate, input A, input B, output Y. And if I add inverter to the NAND gate, what will that become? So pretty much it will be basically, we added a inverter to the AND gate, we, be, we brought a NAND gate, and that's a vice versa. When we add a NAND gate, uh, when we add an inverter to a NAND gate, it will bring a It'll bring and gate. Let's prove that. The truth table for NAND gate is as following. This, okay, input A, input B, output Y. If both inputs are low, the output will be high because it's just a, and gate is inverted. So when AND gate is only high when both inputs are high and any other condition it will be output will be low. So that will be up that will be just inverted AND gate. So that being said, if input A is low and B is high, the output will be high. If input A is high and B is low, the output will be still high. If both the inputs are high, the output will be low. What if we invert this whole signal? by an inverter so basically we will invert that NAND gate back to the AND gate that mean everywhere that input was uh, input for this inverter is high that will become a output low so that will become a, the output card the Y for example uh, let's not confuse you guys here Let's make an, another truth table, use a bright color. So A, B, and output Y again. So we had 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. After adding that input, I'm um, adding that inverter to the NAND gate, we will create a condition that will become as a uh, as uh, not as a but it will become an AND gate so both inputs are low the output will be low one input is low output will be still low only the condition when output both output will output is high when both inputs are high or logic one so basically we can convert NAND gate back to the AND gate when we use inverter when we use um, when we output when we use inverter in the output side of it so basically that was uh, easy wasn't that bad that was the first part we inverted the outputs we inverted the NAND output we, be, we brought the AND logic gate we inverted the OR output and we brought the NOR logic gate and I can just draw the so 
let's make it blue color because that is a blue okay that all right there that's an or gate a and b that's an or two so we out we inverted the output for the or two we brought the nor two in in live now we change this color again we can draw this logic gate what was that and gate we output the and gate we inverted the output of and gate and we brought the nand gate still and until we add that bubble to the output side will become nand gate nand2 hopefully that wasn't that ba bad guys and i will see you in the next video with the in uh, using inverter in the input side of the gate to see what we end up getting stick around guys and be careful take care and thanks for the support.